remove the staff bead sections. It now enables me to remove the bottom sash. So we cut the old cord. Tie a little knot in so we don't lose the cord. Yeah. Now this allows me access to the bottom sash. Where I can lift this up and out it comes. Then decord it. The sash. Right. Now you're going to remove these parting bead sections, which now allows me access to this white chamber section here. Now have both pockets out. What this allows me to do is take the weight out of the bottom sash, so I undo my knot, lower the uh, weight down, and I can carefully take this weight out, remove the old cord, and then set this down out the way. Okay, as you can see now, I've sanded off the top of the the, um, the meeting rail where the old fastener used to be. Um, obviously, what we've tried to do here is retain a smooth surface for to put a new catch. We'll be able to paint over that, and there's no chance that the water will get in there and cause the same damage in the future.
wiggle that into the hole. Place it on there. Pull the cord through. Now I'm going to do my little knot again. Pull that back into the weight chamber. Make sure it's running nice and free as well. This is our removal system. This is the uh, clip that attaches to the sash cord. Uh, more traditionally, you'll often find these nailed to the side of the sash. Obviously ours is a clip system, which helps for painting, cleaning, and any form of maintenance you want to do to the window. And now we give it a little push over. And that's clipped in on the cord. You then cut. This inserts into our part and bead section. Obviously we've got various different size brushes that fit various different size gaps. So once I've decided which size brush to use, I then offer it to the part and bead section. Slide it up through and just give it a little snip at the end. See, let's see a little bit of 